commenting, subscribing, and being part of Joe Boo's cooking and tailgating. And today, um, I'm, I'm just trying to throw some stuff together, try some different things, be a little bit creative with what's going on with keto. In fact, here, check this out. Um, I'm going to do a video to show you exactly what I did here. But this, my friends, is spaghetti squash. And I've actually been roasting that for about 50 minutes. And yeah, it's about 50 minutes. That's what the recipe said. About 50 minutes. Nick Caps, what's up? And it should be done, as I can see. It is, see? Look at that. Boom. Yeah, you can stick the knife in it. So we're going to let that cool for a little bit. And then we're going to take a fork and we're going to turn that into like pasta. Now, I am very disillusioned because today I started thinking about we're hungry. Go commanders anyway. Okay, yeah, the commanders can go. They, they can go someplace, but not around here. What's up, Lola? Amanda Brown, what's up? How you doing? Um, trying to work on dinner. Trying something new. I've got spaghetti squash here. Okay, spaghetti squash. <coughs> I'm going to do a video on how I cook that because it takes too long. But what I started thinking about is making a pasta dish that is keto-wise. I thought I had it made because my man Clarence brought me from Noodle Company some uh, cauliflower noodles. He said, oh, this is a keto recipe and everything else. But I started to, to try and find the um, cauliflower noodles. And I went to Wigman's and I found some cauliflower noodles. I'm like, yeah, yeah, we're in good shape. And also they had zucchini pasta. But the problem was I looked at the box. It's not good. A serving is 56 carbs. Can't do it on keto. Vicious germ, what's up, man? How you doing? So I started reading up on cauliflower pasta. And you think, oh, it's cauliflower because we've done cauliflower mash. We've done cauliflower rice. You know, we've done all kinds of stuff with cauliflower. We know cauliflower is keto. Well, Unfortunately, they process the hell out of it, so it's not any good for you. So I started thinking about, okay, because a friend of ours came over. She brought some spaghetti squash I'd never had before, and I hope I did it right. I hope I didn't overcook it or anything, but I you know, hope I did it right. And I started thinking about, I've got some canned clams up in the cabinet, so I was going to do like a cream sauce for pasta. So I've got some bacon, okay, because bacon and clams go together well because when I make like clam chowder you can use like um, pork back or you end up using bacon into it because it's really kind of a, a similar taste to the clams as well so I'm going to start out I'm going to actually get some bacon grease in here because that's going to give some extra flavor and while that's beginning to cook I got myself a full onion here and I've got some garlic so after the bacon's cooked, we're going to take the bacon out. We're going to saute the onions and the garlic in the butter. And then we're going to take some of the clam juice, some white wine, um, and some uh, uh, blah, 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 chicken broth. And we're going to take all that, and then we're going to let it reduce. And then we're going to add the clams into there. We're going to add some Parmesan cheese into it. We're going to add some heavy cream. So it'll be nice and rich and full of flavor with spices. Now, the bad thing is, is I don't have fresh yet because we're just getting the spring um, oregano and parsley and uh, stuff like that. But I like actually using fresh herbs when at all possible. It's just that um, from us being in and out of town, we didn't water the plants as good as we should have. And most of them died. Most of them died. So I got to start over. It's almost that time of year where they start getting in the stores. How's everybody doing? I haven't been doing much cooking lately. Um, unfortunately, I've been just so busy with the Dallas Cowboys and everything that's going on there. So what's up with you guys? Are you, are you still on keto? Are you still on there? I hope you are because it's been working. And even when I've kind of been a little bit off of my keto, I haven't put on the weight back on. So this is Closing in on week number nine, finishing, and I'm still 18 pounds down. So I, I feel good about that. I'd love to be able to say by Monday, I'm actually down to 20. But we'll have to wait and see on that. We'll see how bad the weekend is. We got a friend coming over, and 
I know that, that we're probably going to end up being bad. But I think this weekend, I'm going to take, uh, I think I've got a uh, standing rib roast in the freezer. So I think on Sunday, I'm going to cook a nice rib roast um, for dinner and maybe some uh, cauliflower mac. So it'll be like a, a good down home kind of a meal, you know, meat and potatoes type feel to it. All right. So. Your steady high fiber. I keep forgetting to, you know, we got the fiber right there and I keep forgetting to take it. You know, I, I keep begging my wife, wife, honey, honey, remind me, take the. I'm just eating delicious keto food. Okay. All right. So let me try and see if I messed this up or not. This is, let's get closer. Let's get closer than close. All right. So this is the spaghetti squash. I've taken it and put it in the, uh, the oven with some olive oil and salt and pepper in it. And see, this is all you do after it cooks. It's, I roasted it upside down, and then you flip it over. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look like spaghetti? See, unlike spaghetti that's been processed, that's just flour and starches and carbs, this is good, wholesome food here. Oh, man. Now, here's the thing with this. This is going to end up being very very delicate so what we want to do is we want to put this on the plate and then we're going to put the sauce on top of it oh that looks so pr that's so pretty i can turn off the oven right now okay we got our bacon over here i just like my bacon to get soft i don't like it to get crunchy in here so i'm going to take that out because i want my bacon i like my bacon soft okay all right so let's take the bacon out So we got that bacon grease in there, that fat. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, that fat. This is just like three pieces of thick sliced bacon, not a whole lot, because Lord knows food is so expensive right now. I'm going to put about a half a stick of butter. I know. Use ghee, but you know what? Times are hard. Ghee is expensive. I'm going to put some olive oil in with this. And... We're going to put in our garlic. Boom. Well, Lola, I like mine soft. And that's why the world goes round. Because people have different ways of doing things. You do you, baby. You do you, Lola. All right. We're going to let this get nice and soft. Oh, look at that. Nothing beats onions. And while that's getting soft, I'm going to do some more of the, oh, look at, look at the spaghetti squash. Oh, I think I did it right. Man, who can't, look, Mother Nature coming up with good shit. Look at that. Oh, baby. Mother Nature. Look at, oh, man. Now, here's a couple of things I was going to do. Because I kept trying to think, how am I going to get my pasta on? Right? Now, here's what's crazy. Here's what's crazy now. We always try and find substitutes for stuff, right? And a lot of times, the substitutes that we come up with are not as they intended. Okay? Now... Originally, I was going to say, you know what? I can just use the uh, Miracle Noodles. Okay? Miracle Noodles, right? Boom. Fettuccine style. I could use these, but that's not a whole lot of noodles in there. Right? These bags are like three eighty nine dollars at Whole Foods. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And, and I, I know they're plants-based, but it's kind of processed. So, is it really... Good, because here's the thing. They always tell you, oh, it's plant-based. Well, you know, that, that Impossible Whopper is plant-based too, but do you think that that's actually good for you? I don't think so. I, I, don't think, I don't think it is. So let's get back to trying eating real food and making as much stuff as possible. But cause, look at this. Look, look, isn't that, look at that. Doesn't it look pretty? Doesn't it, oh. 
It's like al dente. Oh my goodness. All right, so I got my onions in here. Hey, Sir Robinson, I do sometimes, but I was trying something different. I didn't have any zucchini squash, but this is spaghetti squash. Look, look hold it. Doesn't that look, hold it. Doesn't that look like spaghetti? Doesn't that look like spaghetti there, Asia? It looks like it to me. All right. Still working. We're at 645 subscribers. Shout out to you. If we could just get 355, I could use the great. You can have a camera right now shining down. You can see bacon cooking in there. Bacon. You can hear it sizzling. You can hear shh, sizzling. You can see me here. So tell a friend. Tell a friend. Hey, say friend. Look. Just go over, subscribe to Mark's channel, man. Help a brother out, okay? He does good things. He's raising money to help stamp out cancer. He brings out all this content on the Dallas Cowboys. He just let us know that Bobby Wagner is in Baltimore talking to the Ravens right now. Come on now. Help a brother out, okay? All right. You see that now? Look at that. You see those onions in there? Oh, look at that. That's saute good, man. That's good, baby. I'm going to put the bacon back in there. And we're going to put in. We're going to put in a little bit of wine. Uh-oh. We're getting drunk up in here. Getting tipsy in the club. Oops. And we're going to put some chicken broth in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we're going to let this simmer down. We're going to let this reduce a little bit. Oh, yeah. Now, in the meantime and in between time, if you do your thing and I do mine, I'm going to take some of the clam juice now th this is what you want to know things that piss me off you want to know things that really piss me off this is one of those things that piss me off because look at this look look here okay L let me pour the juice off of this That's it? That's all the clam you're going to put in there? Is that right? That's it? They're going to rip a brother off. Mm. Smells good. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We got to, oh, thank you, Aisha. I'm glad you noticed. I've got some uh, basil. I don't have my fresh basil. I've got to get my plants. I'm going to put some basil in there. I'm going to put some oregano. Oregano. I'm going to put some pepper flakes in there because we're going to kick it up a little bit. Pepper flakes. And again, I don't have any fresh parsley, but I'm gonna put some parsley in there. All right. And we're gonna let this reduce a little bit. Let it cook down and it'll start thickening up some. You can see all the, the texture and stuff in there. Definitely seen some AB lines for the first time in a few, okay. All right, we're gonna put in a little bit of chipotle chili powder just to give it a little bit of a kick. Then we're gonna grate some, I put some pepper. And I'm gonna put some more clams in it because, well, I want more clams. Don't need too much more of the liquid, got plenty of the liquid in there. But I want the clams. That's a damn shame how few, uh, look, look at that. It's not even a half a can. Not even a half a freaking can in there. All right, now that's reducing. So we got lots of clams in here. So I like my stuff with lots of clam. And I'm going to do a little taste test here before we get ready to put in the heavy cream and the cheese. 
Oh man. Oh man. You can taste, you can taste the oregano. You got a little bit of the peppers that are in there. Mm. The clam juice. Oh, that's good. You can get the bacon taste. Oh, look at that. So all we have to add here. Oh, it, well, it's kind of, this is kind of like a clam chowder. Mmm. Mmm. It's so hot. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. That is good. Very, very rich. We're going to let that steam down just a little bit more. it's keto we need to be cheesy you know i'm cheesy y'all know i'm cheesy okay but i want this to reduce just a little bit more oh that's good oh that's good get a bowl here for the pasta and i can put away these so I have a little more space to work here. Where are all my tongs? Here we go. Look at that. Woo! Can you see that? Okay, that's almost reduced enough. Make sure I don't leave any of this behind. Mother Nature at her finest. Ooh, that's hot. There you go. I think we have a winner. I think we have a winner here. Mm. All right. You see that the sauce over here has reduced. Now here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take my Parmesan cheese. Get rid of some. Get rid of that one. And I'm gonna add. I'm gonna turn this down some. I'm gonna add about a cup of heavy cream to this. Now make sure when you're putting the cream in, make sure when you're using the cream that you don't boil it. You don't want to scorch it, but you want it to be creamy. We're going to let that kind of warm up and reduce a little bit more. And we're going to add a little bit more cheese into it because, you know, I'm cheesing. This is a very rich, rich, fat-filled meal here. This is going to be good. So you got the white wine, you've got the bacon, you've got the clams in here, you've got the cheese, you've got the seasoning, you got the butter, and we have the pasta. Mm, 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 mm. And lots of clams. Oh, clams. Yes, clams. Shout out to the 16 people that are in here today. How y'all doing? If you're new here, welcome. If you're new here, welcome to uh, Cooking and Tailgating with Joe Boo. Um, I am Mark Holmes, and I have been doing keto now for uh, nine weeks since basically the Dallas Cowboys lost in the playoffs. Playoffs? You're talking about play? Don't talk about playoffs. Yes, as the Cowboys lost in the playoffs, I started doing keto to try and lose some weight, and I've hence lost 18 pounds so far. 
And um, when I've been cooking, I've been cooking live for you guys and doing some recipes and stuff of what I'm trying to do. I am not a keto expert. I'm not a doctor. I'm not recommending it, this to you. This is just for information purposes, what I've been doing and how it's been working for me. You can feel free every morning. I try and do a diary of how it's going. Some days are good days. Some days are bad days. Um, but any day that I wake up on this side of the uh, dirt is a good day. So for me, so far, so good on being on keto. Um, but definitely, if you're getting going to get on keto, make sure you check with your doctor and make sure everything's good because everybody's a little bit different. For me, um, it's been good because I've lost some weight, my blood pressure's gone down, and my energy levels have gone up. But again, that's me. That doesn't mean that's going to be everybody. So be careful what you follow on the YouTube. Be careful what you follow because not everybody is really there for the truth. Um, especially this day and age, there's so much misinformation of everything that you don't know what to believe. Now, here's what you can believe because I've been cooking this in real time. We've been on for 21 minutes. Um, you can see the sauce, the cheese is beginning to melt in here. It's nice and creamy. The only thing about this is because there's not flour, or starch is it is a little bit on the thin side but i'm okay with that I'm, i would rather have it on the thin side having the rich flavor and stuff in it than uh having to worry about uh the extra flour and stuff on here but this is truly a great great keto meal so this with a little salad you are good to go and so i'm gonna get my uh pasta look at that oh look at that Woo! we're gonna do a taste test here i know it's hot so I need to get me some water. I'm just going to get this to simmer just a little bit more. Do one more taste test. Look at that. Hold it. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Ooh, look at that sauce. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. That's good. That tastes really, really good. Trey, are you still, are you hungry, honey? Yes? Okay. Hey, can I let y'all in? Can I let y'all in on a little secret? Can't tell nobody. Here's what I do. I always get some for my wife. And I let her taste it first. That way if it's bad, I won't have to taste it. Shh, don't tell. Don't, don't, don't tell on a brother now. Okay? That's our little secret. Okay? Um, I used actually uh, Parmesan cheese, which is white. All right, so look, let, let's take a look at this. Okay, here's what we got: sugar daddy. Hey, sugar daddy. Uh, the 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 gold Jobardis have not gone out yet because uh, the gold paint that I use, they don't have it at Home Depot anymore. I need to find some more of the spray paint. So don't worry, I haven't forgot you. Shout out to you being a channel member for so. Oh, look at that. We got the clams and stuff in there. Oh, looks like clam chowder, but I'm going to stir up the pasta in there. Look at that. Stir up the pasta and stuff in there. Oh, look at that. Look. Oh, let me give this one to my wife and then I'm going to come back and get my official taste tester. Look at, oh, look. Mm. Okay. You know what? We're going to get fancy here. We're going to get fancy. Look. Mm. 
Oh. Let me let me get the taste tester. Here you go, official taste tester. Oh. Well, eat what you feel like. All right, my official taste testers got hers. Now let me get mine. Ooh, okay. I, I really need a different camera because see, this is it's a wide angle. I need maybe to do it up and down. Look at that. Oh. Look at that rich sauce. Look at that rich sauce and the clams. Clams. Oh, clams. Okay. Look at that. Look. Oh. Look at that. Sugar Daddy, I thought I sent you her email. Sugar Daddy, I responded. I thought I. Oh. Sugar Daddy. You sent me, okay, CowboysMark94 Gmail. It didn't email me directly because when I tried to email you back her email address, it said uh, the email's not found. Okay, look at this, guys. Look. Oh. Mm. Look at this. Oh. Ooh. Mm. The spaghetti, um, the squash, tastes like regular spaghetti. Ooh. Mmm. Now this, oh my God. This is good. I think I got a new, baby. Baby? Yeah. How is it? Really amazing. Hold on. Wait, wait. Wait, did you hear that? She said, this is kind of amazing. Well, wait a minute, honey. Were you talking about me or the dinner? She was talking about the spaghetti squash. She's like, it's, she can't believe it's not real pasta. Mm. This is incredible. Oh, my God. This is as good as the fried fish in the... Uh, uh, air fryer. This is some good shit right here, guys. Mm. It's hot, Lola. It's like your hot sauce. Philly D, I'm about to call you back. Um, it's good. It's got a little bit of a kick to it. But here's what's cool. It's so it's been 28 minutes actually doing the sauce to, to eating. OK, the only thing that took time, it took about 50 minutes of cooking the spaghetti squash. But that was basically putting it in the oven and then they cook about halfway through, flip it over and then taking it out. But this is good. Mm. Actually, Asia, I'll actually take um, the big mushrooms and do pizzas on those. So it's actually really good. I, I'm just not. Keto bread is just not the same thing. Some things keto just it's just not like the regular. Mm. But this, my friends, look at it. Oh. Look at that. Mm. Look, tell me that does. Oh. Look at that. Are you kidding me? You see the cheese melted right there. You see the sauce. You see the bacon and the clams. Oh. Hmm. Look at that. Another look. Look. Oh. Mm. Lola, it was just taking the fork and going across, just pulling it. It just comes out like string. It's like the, the it's like the muscle fibers. That, look, look, look at that. You guys see that sauce? Hmm. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, but Asia, clams and meatballs.
they don't quite go together. Now, if I do, I, I was going to do a tomato sauce, but making the tomato sauce takes a lot more time. That's why I did this because it's Friday night. I got my live stream in an hour and 45 minutes. It's amazing. No matter what you do, people always, oh, that's not good enough. Put meatballs in. You don't put meatballs in with clams and, and white sauce. Well, I guess you do a Swedish meatballs, but still. Mm. Joanne Gonzalez. What's up, JoJo? Look at this. Spaghetti sauce. I mean, excuse me. Spaghetti squash and clams. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. A nice look at look, look out. Okay, see, there's the clams. Mm. And he loses weight. Should be an infomercial. Mm. That is good. All right, good people. I'm gonna finish eating this, but I, the only thing I'm missing is if I had a baguette, would be perfect to suck up all that juice. Mm. That's the only thing would be missing, but that baguette and keto. Although that baguette is probably less carbs than that uh, cauliflower pasta. It's so hot, but it's good. Mm. Lola, I'll see you later. Everybody, have a great evening and uh, stick to the keto. We're going to do this together. Peace.